Way comes in, kick on the way, is very, very nicely manicured. Around the corner, Walker, beautiful control, and he finds Way, 45 metres out, almost directly in front, he's got it. Top of the square for number three, and he drives it through, he's got all three. Way, can he squeeze it in? Just by a coat of paint, he's got four. And oh. Wade's bucked on the behind line, or is it true? That's paid. Oh. And Wade kicks his fifth. Right foot kick, bouncing towards goal, he's got it! Wade kicks six! That's six for the game. Here is his seventh for Hoffman from 40 metres out. Kick on the way, plenty of power oh. to goal. The Blues are back in front! And Jared White joins us uh, for a number of reasons. The Blues are one of the talking points. Mick's had a go at the media today. Chris Yaron's admitted that he sooked a little and... I think Caro gave Jared Wade a whack a few. Did you give him a whack a few weeks ago? Is that correct? Oh, he he might have been the recipient of an arrow. <laughs> Welcome to you, Jared. Uh, not too sure if you stayed up late that night and watched Classified. Welcome to sure you. Sure, you didn't. G'day, guys. Yeah, I must have missed that one, Caro. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good one to miss, Jared. I just look. I I love seeing you play, Jared, and I was cross with you for being suspended. And I guess your club were too. They fined you, didn't they? As I recall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Got a uh, got a fine from the club. Uh, we we expect excellence at Carlton, and uh, me being a leadership group, uh, what I did wasn't malicious in any way, but um, isn't up to standard. And we, uh, yeah, the club came to me the, the Monday after um, the incident and said they were going to after I'd found out that I was suspended and explained to me the uh, rule. And um, yeah, I took the punishment, and uh, we've all moved on. Will yeah, they, well, we sh- sorry, sorry, Dwayne, we should move on. I've got to ask a nice question since I asked oh. a nasty one. We haven't got time for nice questions, uh, Karen. No, but w- w- you must have, you must have been obviously since then. You've continued to improve, and fanta- Friday night ultimately disappointing. But we saw why it's so important and why they need you in the team. Do you feel as though everything's clicking into gear at the moment? Yeah, Carl, I think I've been feeling really good for the last probably. Through two and a half seasons, um, really finding my feet up forward, and and unfortunately haven't been out of there during because uh, of injuries. But uh, the games that I've played, I've I've felt that I've done pretty well in. So it's just the confidence that I've had from from those games, and then obviously Mick coming along has uh, given some confidence to all the players as well. So you were fined for your indiscretion. Will Chris Yarn be fined for getting uh, a little sooky about the subs vest? No, I wouldn't believe that he has been. Um, like you said before, he's come out and apologised to the boys. And like I said, we, we expect excellence from every player. And it's, it's obviously disappointing, not only if you're sub, but if you're emergency or if you've been dropped. And it's just showing the right, the right way to go about it. And, and he still had an opportunity to come on and did some really good stuff when he first came on in that fourth quarter, but um, yeah, I suppose he did, let, he did let himself down, but we've moved on. Do you expect him to be playing against Hawthorne on uh, Friday night, Jared? Yeah, I, I don't understand. I can't see why he wouldn't be playing, um, and he'll be, uh, I would imagine he'd be pretty keen to sort of go out there and, and, and lay some tackles and use his speed, and he's such an important part to our team, and um, I'm sure he uh, would be looking forward to redeeming himself. I was thinking of uh, re-implementing the famous Clomp Award that uh, dominated this program for about a decade, Jared, uh, over Rajuno's getting the votes wrong, but I'm going to uh, defer to your judgment. Now, Bruce Matthews gave you three votes best on the ground. You were playing on Jake Carlisle, who was moved after half-time, who was essentially one of the worst on the ground, and yet he ended up being one of the best on the ground in the second half and got two votes. Can that be so? Uh, I suppose it can be. It's, it's their decision. Um, different positions, and he's played. He obviously went forward, and uh, and we went through the review, and he and he had some very influential mm. play. Um, but yeah, it just shows his versatile uh, versatility. Sorry, and uh, he's a very very good player. If you had to pick one player to bolster your premiership chances, uh, what hole do you what would you like to fill? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, I suppose Buddy Franklin would be all right. He'd, um, yeah, I don't know. We're, any of those uh, amazingly good plays uh, would be handy. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're happy where, we're, where the team's at at the moment. And... Um, Looking forward to the Hawks on Friday night. Yeah, you'll have to give a little bit of your contract money back if you're going to get Franklin, uh, Jared, but we appreciate <laughs> you joining us. Thanks for your time. We'll look forward to seeing you Friday night. No worries. Good Thanks luck.